Welcome to the setup team. The setup team is responsible for getting our campus ready for our Sunday gathering. Members of the setup team serve on a rotating basis. When it's your Sunday to serve, you need to be at the back of Desert Sky by 6.45 a.m. If the shed's locked, you'll need to unlock it. Members of the setup team will receive a shed key. I recommend keeping on your keychain or a safe place in your car if you use the same car every week. Before you serve for the first time, make sure you shadow someone else to get a better idea of how to set up. In short, members of the setup team are responsible for 12 things. First, you'll need to make sure signs are in place. One sign should be placed in the median at Rita and Rankin Loop. Another should be placed in front of the school. You're also responsible for a banner you'll place on the front gate and a sign that provides directions to the Sunday gathering, junior church check-in, and nursery. You'll place that sign just inside the gate. You'll have another sign pointing toward junior church and nursery. You'll place that sign in front of the library door visible from the gate. You'll place the sign that only says nursery with an arrow inside the library facing the nursery classroom. It should be visible from the library door. You'll place one more sign, the one indicating junior church check-in, next to the check-in desk near the front door of the NPR. Second, you'll need to put out the tables. As of now, we set up 10 tables for first service, two rows of three tables and two rows of two tables. We'll provide you with a diagram so you'll know where to put the first table and how far apart the tables should be from one another. Basically, the first table is 11 tiles from the front step and 7 tiles from the pipe and drape. The table legs should be 6 tiles away from one another on all sides. You'll also set up an additional 6 tables along the south wall near the restrooms and another 2 tables in the chair room. After the first service is over, you'll set up 6 of these tables for the second service, creating 4 rows of 4 tables. If we have a crowd, the breakdown person will set up the other two. Third, place eight chairs around every table. A couple of those chairs will be used for monitors, but every table still needs eight chairs. Fourth, you'll need to place a desk out front for junior church check-in. The desk should be placed under the awning in front of the aluminum service window on the NPR. Fifth, You'll need to use the hand truck to deliver all four nursery bins to the nursery room adjacent to the library. Leave the hand truck in the nursery room too. Sixth, you'll need to set up floor lamps. We usually place one near the offering table, another near the kitchen door, another near the hospitality table, one between the doors closest to the sound table, one near the restrooms, and one between the extra tables on the south wall. Seventh, you'll need to set up a table for the offering box just inside the front door. That table needs a tablecloth, three crosses, and an offering box in the middle. You'll find the tablecloth in the large white box we affectionately call the coffin. Eighth, you'll need to set up a table for the hospitality team. It used to go between the kitchen door and the door to the table room, but there's a refrigerator there now. So move the unplugged refrigerator near the sound table to the room we walk through to get to the shed and place the hospitality table where that refrigerator was. Ninth, you'll need to place a candelabra on both sides of the stage on the ground floor between the speakers and the steps. On the left side of the stage, next to a candelabra, you'll need to set up a cross. Make sure you see a complete X in the middle, otherwise it's backwards and place two scarlet cloths on the base covering it completely. The scarlet cloths are also in the coffin. Next, you'll set up a pipe and drape divider that divides the entrance from the worship space. You'll find the pipes and drapes in the coffin. Open up the longer two horizontal pipes to their second and longest position. The two longer rods get four black curtains each. The shorter pipe that doesn't extend gets three curtains. The curtains shouldn't be pulled tight though. They should be evenly bunched like a normal curtain. Finally, make sure you provide the stool and music stand for the speaker.
The speaker will stand at the front on the ground floor between the middle two rows of tables. Most weeks you'll be done with setup by 8 a.m. If you get finished earlier, go get breakfast and bring some back for me. Just kidding. I eat before I come. That's it. That's all you need to know. Welcome to the team.